You heard the Grand Magnus. Grab your gear and head to the airship docks. I'll tell Captain Selko it's go time, and to have his Lancet Strikers ready. Gotta find Selko. Captain, is our airship ready for launch to Oroman? Just give the word, sir. Her hull's watered against the worst the Tempest Layer can throw at us. We'll swing you in for a clean drop to the Shrine Forge. No time to lose. Let's go.
probably inside. And this machine will show us a weakness to the binding stone? In theory. So we don't know what to do once we're inside. I figured we'd improvise. You mean you would improvise? That entrance is blocked by a triarch ward. You're the only one going in. Lucky I'm here, sir. I'll get the portals powered back up for a return trip. Figure out how to destroy the Binding Stone, and let's get out of here.
Well, this room looks important. Talking about someone else, you're mistaking me for a guy named Sandrak, which frankly feels a little creepy. But anyway, I want to destroy the Binding Stone. You're not listening. I don't have a Binding Stone or a Mark. I can't surrender what I don't have. I already told you, I'm not... Wait. You can give me the same mark as Sandra. Control it, or destroy it. You've already figured out the solution, Jack. We win. You don't win in ever war. If he found a way to use the Binding Stone, so can we. It's mastery over the Funks means I can end the war. Then I choose to end the war. Give me the mark to control the Binding Stone. <laughs> I guess. All right, so that's what disobeying orders feels like. Not so good. Please say yes. Yeah, we're uh, we're good to go. With this, I can destroy the Binding Stone. We just have to get close enough to Sandrak. How do you propose we do that when we don't even know where he is? This mark gives me a connection to the Binding Stone. I can feel where it is. I can, I can feel where Sandrak is. He's moving east, towards the deep near. There's a font in the ocean. Sounds like it. All right, pack it in. We're leaving soon. What's the place, sir? Devin and I will stay here at the Shrine Forge for a bit. See if we can find anything else of interest. And rig it to blow when the Rashanians return. You need to get back to the Palathon and brief Kirkin. She'll figure out our next steps. But when you use that mark to destroy the Binding Stone, I want to be there. I want to see Sandrak's face when you just crumble it in his hand. You don't have to tell me twice, sir. All right. That'll be all, Initiate. Now head back to the Palathon. Back at the Palathon. Well done, soldier. Meet me in the vault. We can finally have that conversation that I've been trying to avoid.
sir. Back here, Jack. Here. This dossier is for you. My report of Sandrak's time as an immortal. Some details remain classified. I'm sure you understand. This will have to do, then. Thank you, sir. Come. Show me the mark you recovered from the Shrine Forge. Uh, sure. It lets you feel the movements of the Binding Stone? Yeah. Sandrak's definitely sailing the Deep Mirror, but his movements are weird. Erratic. Unfortunately, we can't afford to send a large force out to sea. Most of the Light's army musters at the front, and we need them to remain there. You, Zandara, and Devin will have to face Sandrak alone. Well, not exactly alone. My contacts in the Clayless Traders Guild provided us with a Colossal during the Trenchship Rebellion. I never gave it back. It'll take time to wake her up. She's not seen service in a very long time. Captain Selko's a fine steersman, if I recall correctly. And I can guide him to wherever Sandrak is, using my mark. That's the plan. Now, unless you have something else to ask me, that'll be all. All right. I've got everything I need, sir. Zendara and Devin should have already returned by now. You'll all set out for the Deep Mirror in the morning. Oh, one more thing. The Oromic girl. Kenzie? She wanted to speak to you when you returned from the Shrine Forge. I think she's a bit smitten with you. Yeah, I don't know if it's limited to just me, sir. Initiate, come up to the war chamber. Devin and I have decided that since we might die in the morning, we should, uh... Get hammered! Yes. That. <laughs> On my way. I've got a hundred Alori chasing me. Nowhere to go. All by myself. And then, boom! I'm grabbed by the neck. I can't, I can't read. <gasps> sure, just interrupt my story in the rudest, most disgusting way imaginable. That's cool. I honestly forgot you were telling one. Oh, did I ever tell you guys about the time I almost turned a hundred years old? My company was holed up in the trenches at True Haven Pass. I was still assigned to Light's Army then. Medical watch, yes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a lie. Absolutely serious. The Roshanians hit the trench with an aging spell. By morning, we're suddenly too tired to fight. We're too infirm. Our brains are muddled. We've got the cataracts. So anyway, I see myself in a mirror, right? I look like my father. My father was a very unattractive man, Jack. We call him the Turtle. Oh, I am not going to age well. So tell me, sir, when did you say to yourself, hey, bigotry, it's not really so bad, is it? I have to make a far call. Are you referring, Initiate, to why I think the Unforeseen are a curse? Uh, yep. Telenir was a small city in Kalthus. The priests there believed that the Lightless were given some divine role by the Pentasad, and they didn't allow Magni within their walls. Can you imagine? A city without magic? Uh, I'm not an asshole, so yes. <laughs> One day, at some morning prayer, a young girl, in Unforeseen, just exploded with wild magic. She died screaming as spellfire erupted from her body. All of Telenir started burning. And because there were no Magni around, this wild magic went unchecked. The whole city and everyone in it were reduced to ashes. 
That's all very sad and terrible, sir. But we're not all that little girl. That's not how it happened with me. It could have. There's no protection against your kind. And when you do happen, more often than not, people around you die. Okay, enough of that. My father always said the best way to mend bridges between parties that held wildly divergent opinions was to find a commonality in vice. Drink up, nerds. Another. How the fucking bird get in here? Oh, good. You see it too? You. You still have that thing about birds. Birds absolutely do not give a shit about the way their heads look when they walk. I, I would be more fine. Another. Damn it. Another. Use your last! Use your last! I know, I know. Another. My dad. Ugh. It's him, isn't it? Sandrak's moving towards the font. Showtime, then. And listen, I may not like what you are, Jack, but I like who you are. That feels really abstract and not entirely okay, but thanks. I think. The Immortals are better because of you. And Lucian may end up surviving because an Unforeseen led the charge. Morning, sir. Unfortunately. It was a good night, sir. I won my retirement fund betting on your skill at beer pong. Wait, you were there? I didn't see you. You weren't seeing much by that point, sir. Duty calls, though. Come to the docks over in Thaven's Point. We're nearly ready to cast off. All right. <clears throat> See you soon.
A few moments later. Does seasickness cancel out hangovers, or is it more of an additive thing? Oh, cool. Welcome aboard, Immortal. What's our bearing, sir? Can't give you anything precise, Captain, but north by northeast? Five knots. If Sandrak changes course, you'll be the first to know. Something wrong? Just the fact that this mission, and the war, hinges on something that we don't understand. At all. We'll catch him, sir. This was built by the Ajmi. You sometimes forget that there were great civilizations of such marvelous invention before Aristea. What's up, Jack? So, uh, you went to university, right? I mean, duh, you were just all, this was built by the Arjman, and uh, I've never even heard of them. If there's one thing my father expected of me, it was to treat history like a type of scholastic jambalaya, and just continue. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, so, you know, I've read a lot of books, and um, I know my numbers and stuff like that. It's just... Uh... I don't think I've ever seen you so insecure, Jack. Is it the upcoming fight? No, no, no. Well, yeah, uh, kind of, maybe. Look, the thing is, Sandrak is super educated. You remember how he called me... In our every meeting, a yipping pup. I remember. Exactly. Thank In you. our every meeting, a yipping pup. <laughs> do it again. But yeah, that's, you know, I want to say something like that to him, right? Like, we're fighting and I'm all, yeah, and you're old. But not like that, obviously. Oh, I see. Uh, an erudite put down. A deeply cutting tit to his tat. If that means what I think it does, then very much yes. Well, let's make one for you. Like you say, Sandrak's very old and he's... A stuffed shirt. Let's work on it. We'll give it right back to him. In our every meeting, uh, so and so. Blowhard? Buffoon? Windbag! Who? Buffoon's gonna hurt. It always does. But something before it. In our every meeting, a uh, what? Buffoon. Now, the old bit. Geriatric? Obsolescent? Fossil? Oh no. Fossilized. Oh, he's totally a fossil. Older than dirt and dog years, as Thaddeus would say. I mean, I imagine he'd say something like that. That's the one. I think we've got it. Let's test it out. I'm Sandra. I'm. Wait, wait, are you ready? I'm ready. I'm Sandra. And I'm bursting with power, and I have that bored patrician look on my face. And I go something like, Fools for certain, there is no mercy, but of my white, hot, and brandy make. Shut the fuck up, you fossilized buffoon! What do you think? Uh, I mean, 
Just telling him to shut the fuck up is pretty good. He'll absolutely hate it. Huh. Yeah, I guess you would. And you really sell that part of it. Yeah, it feels good. Okay, thanks, Dev. Happy to help. Now, get up to the control room. I'll join you shortly.
A few moments later. Jack, this is stupid. Turn back. There's no reason for your people to lose their lives. You shouldn't underestimate them. They used to be your people too, remember? Sandrax already started binding the font. He'll be unstoppable when he's finished, and there's nothing any of you can do. Yeah, well, I've still got a trick or two up my sleeve. And you could help. You know I won't. And stop wasting my time. Go! Hold still, Captain. We're here. The font is on the bottom of the sea, and he's holding the waters back. He's draining the font. We gotta go. Now. Go! Devon can steer in my stead. We'll hold off the Rashanians. I'll do what <gasps> now? You are broken and you are bound, Dream of Kiladia. The fault of Aristea was thinking of you as anything more than a tool. He doesn't have any such mark, my dear. What? Stand down, brother. You could rejoice with me. The work is almost done. Or you could just shut the fuck up. Manners. Every moment of your life has existed in the orbit of my own. You cannot describe yourself without mentioning my name. I am the sole catalyst for your sense of purpose. There comes a time when any thrall buckles in their chains. But I never put them there. You see me as your enemy because I don't see you at all. A triarch. Kirken was lucky to find you. Van Come 
meeting like this. Dara on your feet. We've got to go now. The sea's collapsing on itself. Let it be your tomb. Or how about yours? Gotta be. Maybe not dead exactly, but extremely inconvenienced. We lost the Binding Stone, Jack. Found it. Hey, where's Andara? Already flying back to the Palathon, I suspect. Or searching for some errant Rishanian harriers to pummel so she can work her aggressions out before speaking to Kirken. Wait, what? You're joking. You completely went against orders at the Shrine Forge, Jack. And you hid it from all of us. You made us look like fools. What? No, you mean the control mark? Sandrak's gone. We got the Binding Stone. Devin, we just won the war. Kirken told you to destroy it, not bring it home. Devin, you cannot be serious right now. Just go, Jack. Kirken's going to be positively beside herself with anger when she finds out what you did. You need to take this seriously. 
it will go over very badly. This is the front. The bulk of the Light's army musters there, ready for the big push. I've run through the war games countless times. When Sandrak had the Binding Stone, our chances were slim to none. All these soldiers, when you look at them, Jack, what do you see? <sighs> I, I know you want me to say I see loyalty or, or duty or something like that. All right, that way I can step into some irony or whatever you can use to Look, I know you're using this as some kind of preamble to tell me you're angry with me. I am goddamn furious. I'm sorry. I got to the Shrine Forge and... and there was a choice I could make. No, there wasn't. There wasn't a choice. Who told you there was a choice? Zendara, you were as field commander. Did you get to the Shrine Forge and say, make it up as you go along? No, sir. Our objective was to figure out a way to destroy the Binding Stone. Then why is it in my war chamber, Commander? I gave no indication that we were to deviate from that objective, sir. So you're telling me that you're unable to control your people? Is that it? Don't yell at her. I did it. Chain of command, Jack. And I'm getting to you. Okay, okay. If I can just say one thing. That right there is unnecessary with that right there. I got us control of the ultimate weapon, and we can roll right now into Rasharn by ourselves and force their surrender without firing a shot. Oh, you've got it all worked out. I didn't realize that. Am I the only one in the room that sees the last 24 hours as an unbelievable victory? I mean, what part of ultimate weapon don't you like? The part where it's a corrupted Aristan artifact, Jack. When we all know Aristean is really just another word for weapons from yesteryear that we are absolutely unprepared for. Maybe you're unprepared. And you aren't? When I found you, the only thing you were prepared for was exploding and taking the rest of Saren with you. The last time I talked with Sandrak, he pulled the same you wouldn't exist without me lecture you are. So you're a little late to the party, sir. You will go back to the Shrine Forge and get the mark you were ordered to in the first place. Can't do it. And then you will come back here and destroy this thing. Oh, no, I'm, I'm being for real. I, I can't. The machine, it, well, it, it broke. Don't fuck with me, Jack. Are you serious right now? I'm not. And I am. All right, and I can control it. Why can't you see that? You can't control it. No one can. What if Sandrak really isn't gone, and he gets it back? What then? It stays here, under lock and key. Take it to the vault. You're making a mistake. Take it to the goddamn vault! 